my sisters in Christ, I love you. I love you. I'm so serious. I love you. This whole channel's for you. And this is why I have to tell you what I'm about to say. What kind of man are you attracting with your makeup? Now, I don't want to seem like I am judging any of you because sometimes I wear myself a little makeup as well. But 99% of the time I wear zero makeup. The definition of made up means invented, not true. Think about that. When you single sisters are getting ready to go out and you're putting a little bit of makeup to track some young gentlemen, you are purposefully displaying a you that is not true. Now, some of you sisters really make yourselves a face that is not true. The reason why this topic needs to be addressed is threefold, at least, because I want nothing more than for my sisters in Christ to find a nice brother in Christ. Being married to a brother in Christ, a real brother in Christ, feels so good. And I want that for you, my sisters. So listen up to these three things. Number one, do you think a devout brother in Christ is looking for a woman who has her face excessively painted like a Jezebel? There, I said it. No, he's looking right past you. But believe me, you're gonna attract a husband indeed and it ain't gonna be the one you want. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mention clothes because the answer is already no, uh-uh. Do not be naive. Your makeup has the likely potential to attract some ungodly men. Fact number two. Do you realistically think you are going to wear your makeup 24 seven for forever? No way. Realistically, you cannot have your face painted all of the time. Sometimes when you're sick, oh, when you're pregnant, you got no energy. Oh, and just wait till you have kids. Makeup is out the door. Double fact. Someone type amen. Sisters, you cannot possibly wear your makeup all of the time. And if you done gone and attracted a man that likes that Jezebel look, now that has the likely potential to cause some turmoil. Fact. Because let's be honest, after a while, you're gonna just want to live a regular life with your man, being the godly women that you are internally. Well, your ungodly man may now be looking at someone else. And is that wrong in his heart? No, because he does not have biblical laws written on his heart, nor does an ungodly man have the Holy Spirit guiding him. Don't get mad at him because you purposely attracted that kind of man in the first place with your not true look. This consequence is a reality for many women. Don't get mad at me either. I'm just the messenger. Okay, we're on number three. Every time you go out in public presenting yourself in this Jezebel fashion, you are setting a standard for other young Christian women who are impressionable and who really need to learn to love themselves just as they are. Can a sister help a sister out? Think about the domino effect of consequences that happen. Think about the generational problems that happen when you choose to present yourself made up, invented, not true. My sisters in Christ, God gave me a vision, a painted heart, red, orange, yellow, green, baby blue, baby pink, baby blue and baby pink representing the greatest genocide that is happening right now under our noses and that is the killing of our unborn. Satan is out to destroy the family structure with the killing of our unborn. But he is out to get you too. Satan would love nothing more than for you to select. And let's be real, sisters, we do the selecting. An ungodly, unbelieving head of your household, which would crumble 
the whole family structure from top to bottom. God has given us beauty in our bodies to entice men. Look at the story of Adam and Eve. Adam chose Eve over God. Many men would love to be with you, my sisters. So sisters, what kind of man are you attracting for your future family with your makeup?